I'm it's too bad that Andy Warhol died. I believe he did it on purpose. He was afraid of the maestro. What's your thing with Andy Warhol? Well, he's the top gun. But the other night you were telling me he's the most important artist in the 20th century. He was. But his era is over now. Now it's time for me to come along. Oh, I really don't have contempt for him, to tell you the truth. I just like to take pot shots at him. Crystal should not feel uh, intimidated by the fact that I came out and uh, did him a little Western number under his umbrellas. But uh, I'm a seventh generation Californian, and this happens to be in my backyard. So uh, this just happens to be another thing in my life as an artist. And uh, it's appropriate, I think, for me to respond in the way I've responded, as using his work as a backdrop. <laughs> school I got a job as a furniture warehouseman. Then I came to San Francisco and got a job as an um, aircraft mechanic for Pan American Airways. From there I went into work at a warehouse again for wholesale hardware and after I was there about a year they put me out on the road selling hardware, traveling through the state of California. In between those times I was a bodybuilder which I did for 10 years. Then I went into the printing business. Jerry folded up his toolbox one night at work, said he was going to be an artist. That was it. More than any other artist I know, he has a vision of what he believes he should do. And it was not right for him to split his time between a job and painting. If he was going to be a painter, he was going to be a painter. It was a revelation for me. I mean, all these years that I worked, and I never felt part of anything. And even bodybuilding was the only thing that I had really dedicated myself to. And when I found that disillusionment in that, you know, that there really isn't anything out there. You know, there really isn't any, nothing's working. I had a good job, but it just didn't mean anything. I was married, and I was happy, but my life was just had this big hole in it. It was the tide rising, and when it got finally where I couldn't breathe anymore, I just couldn't work anymore. I just literally couldn't. I started crying, and I just told the boss. I went over, and I said, I'm going to be a painter. <laughs> 